Well, hi Lynn, welcome to Temenos. Hi John. It's great to have you here this morning to talk a little bit about the TA 101 yeah, workshop. Yeah, yeah. So we're excited to be to have you in our program. Yeah, I'm looking forward to doing it actually. Very much that. Great, great. Well, maybe I'll ask you a little bit about yourself okay. and your background, and then maybe ask you a bit about the workshop okay. and what people can look forward to yeah. as they sign up. So, yeah. Um, yeah, maybe I could ask you then. A bit about me. A bit about you. Yeah. What would you like to know? Well, um, I, I what guess would people you. Would like to know yeah, what would people like to know out there? Well, maybe a little bit about your background. Yeah. Um, you? Okay, I'll start by just saying perhaps how I became a psychotherapist. Mm. Um, because I've really, that was a significant career change for me because I'd never really been involved with um, sort of working with people in that way, mental health or anything like that at all. You know, my background actually was sales and marketing. Mm. Um, I'd worked in sales and marketing for about. I think it was about 15, 20 years, something like that, um, before I decided to pursue a career as a therapist. And even then, it took me, you know, a few years before I decided that, yes, it was definitely for me. Um, and I, that wasn't because I was kind of um, uncertain about the nature of the work. I think I just felt that it was, um, you know, it's such an important role and there's so much involved in it that I wanted to be clear on my... Um, motivation, I think, mm. yeah, for doing it. Um, you know that actually it wasn't some need to kind of heal the world. Um, you know that it was yeah. it was about well like a whole host of things. But I mean, for me, it is partly about altruism, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, but it's also very much because I really enjoy being with somebody and doing psychotherapy. Mm. Simple as that. Yeah. You know, I just enjoy the connection. I like the intellectual stimulation of the work because I think it's just so incredibly interesting. Um, and I, you know, find that very stimulating and fulfilling really. So, mm. you know, and I think sort of looking back on my career, I'd always been looking for something like that. You know, I'd felt very, yeah. I'd often felt bored or disinterested in the work that I was doing. Um, it didn't feel like there was any real purpose behind it, um, although there was, but it wasn't one that fit with my values. Yeah. Um, so that was a big shift for you, yeah. it's actually in the direction that you'd been leaning towards for a yes. long time, I guess. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you really thought about that transition, you didn't just go, oh, one day, right, I'm going to be a therapist. It's, <laughs> no, not at all. all about not it. Not at all. I mean, I yeah. kind of, you know, sort of played around with it a little bit by doing a, a sort of counselling certificate initially and, um, you know, then um, I was having my own therapy. Um, mm. And you know, lots of people do. You yeah, know, absolutely. clients become therapists. Mm. And was thinking more and more that actually, maybe, actually, maybe I could do this. You know, mm. maybe there's something in this for me. Yeah. Um, so I started TA training um, back in I think it was about 2002. Mm. Um, very much of the mind that I'm going to try this out and I'll see where it takes me. You know, that it will be an exploratory journey. Mm. Um, you know, and if part of that journey is that I decide to pursue it and become a therapist great and if part of that journey is that I don't I make a decision not to then that's fine that's okay too mm. um, yeah so that was my process really yeah really open start I guess yeah and just see where it, it takes you yeah yeah definitely yeah. definitely and something about being in the room the satisfaction and enjoyment of that being in the room with another human being is really yeah. a big part of what has drawn you and keeps you in this kind yes. of endeavor yes it does yeah yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm I'm intrigued and very interested by what goes on between two people, the therapeutic encounter. Mm. You know, how is it that, you know, what happens between us can be healing? Yeah, I mean, yes, there is always the, you know, the sort of the technical aspects mm. of, of therapy and, and what we do. But I think also it's, you know, for me, so much about the relationship and um, the, what's not spoken about. You know, I, I think examples of that for me are, you know, when I take a particular piece of work to supervision, I talk about it with my supervisor, and then I'll come back, and I'll find that in some way the client's made a shift on this in the way that I had done too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I find that quite remarkable. Yeah. You know, so I'm you've been in supervision and thinking about it, but the client's also... Yes. Stuff's going on for them too. Yeah, yeah. yeah and I find that very interesting. Yeah. So, so they're the kind of things that kind of catch my attention, I think. Yeah, very much about the relationship, what goes yeah. on very between Very much about the relationship and what goes yeah. on between us. Yeah. yeah. 
And so I guess your journey into TA supports that your interest in that? Is? Yeah, I guess, it, well, in some ways it does. Yeah, I mean, I think TA is a very interesting psychotherapy because of that, because there are, very, there are some quite different approaches within it. Um, I mean, certainly the 101 that I'm delivering um, on, in April is, you know, it's the introduction to, to TA theory, where, you know, what we'll be looking at is, you know, some of the, the really key ideas that are part of TA. Um, you know, TA has developed a heck of a lot in the however many years it is since Byrne really first started to develop his ideas, and it's gone in all sorts of different directions. Mm. Um, you know, it's very much a humanistic and integrative therapy. You know, so there are approaches within it that are, um, I guess, in some ways, lean more towards CBT that are very mm. cognitive mm -hmm. and that focus on that aspect. Yeah. But there's also approaches within it that draw on its psychodynamic and psychoanalytic roots like I've been talking about, that are very much about, you know, therapeutic relationship and the kind of that, the, the nature of that encounter, really. Mm -hmm. And I think for anybody who's coming into TA, I was interested in finding out more about it, you know, that's one of the things that can be quite fascinating. I mean, admittedly, that's not something that's dealt with a 101, um, okay. because, yeah. you know, 101 is about giving people um, an understanding and um, of, you know, some of the key ideas in TA. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's very much about using it for yourself. It's about how does this theory, you know, tell, what does this theory tell me about me? What does this theory tell me about my relationships? How can I use it in that way? Mm. Um, you know, so it doesn't look at the clinical application of theory. Um, that's not part of the remit for this particular course. Mm. Mm. So th if, when people are come along to experience the TA 101, you're helping them to think about those principles in relation to themselves? Yes. Very much about thinking about the principles in relation to yourself, and we'll do a lot of experiential exercises. You know, working in small groups and in triads, um, and you know, applying theory to situations and self. Mm. So it's not just coming here and listening to what you've got to say, not kind all. of lecturing at everybody. No, I mean, I will do some, um, you know, sort of talk and chalk stuff to use that mm. phrase, um, but I, I. I try to keep that to, you know, let's say not to a minimum. I, I, I like to put in as much variety as possible because I'm very aware of the fact that, you know, some people's approach to learning is very different to others. Some people like a lot of that, other people don't. You know, so I, it's my, um, my objective really, I suppose, in putting together any programme like that, is to put as much variety in as possible. So people will be getting up, they'll be moving around, they'll be doing things, they'll be reflecting on things, they'll be talking in small groups, sharing in the large group, um, you know, so there'll be lots of opportunities really to think about the theory and apply it to yourself and to talk about that and share ideas and, and experiences and you know amongst the, amongst the participants. Mm, that sounds great because I guess I mean the workshops for two days yes so there's yes. A, a different shifts in energy shifts in yeah. gear and and that people will come away with a, some idea of thinking as well that they'll experience each other and have yeah. some things to think yeah and there'll be a sound theoretical base for that great you know yeah. so there'll be you know I'll be I'll be covering, um, well, I'll be covering, you know, the however many key ideas that there are in TA. I'll be talking about things like ego states um, and what that's all about. I'll be talking the parent, adult, and child. I think that's one of the things that people, um, and everybody knows something about TA. There's probably two bits that people kind of talk about, and it's the parent, the adult, and the child, and I'm okay, you're okay. I think they're the yeah. bits that, you know, kind of got pulled into popular psychology yes. and people are very aware of. Um, you know, there's a lot more to TA than that. You know, we'll be talking about how, um, 